now uh, let's deploy it to the Heroku. Okay, uh, so first of all, uh, for deploying it to Heroku, you need uh, you can say uh, two or three files. Okay, uh, because uh, when you are uh, you can say deploying to the cloud, so it will need some kinds of file. Okay, uh, for setting your environment there. So let me uh, stop that app. And here, first of all, you need to uh, uh, create git ignore, okay, git ignore file because all the information won't be you can say necessary because if you see this dot ip one v checkpoints, then uh, your uh, this uh, src again focus. So these are some you can say un uh, unnecessary file. You, you so whenever you will uh, do, you can say uh, a Heroku push, okay. So it will copy all your you can say code from here and it will paste on the cloud itself okay so if you do that so it will unnecessary it will unnecessary take your uh, this unnecessary file okay so that's why uh, we want to like uh, ignore some of the file okay which is not necessary so for that uh, you have to create uh, this file git ignore and here you can mention all the in okay all the file uh, th th that is not related uh in your projects okay so you can mention that uh, so i have already created that file okay i have written all the you can say unnecessary uh, files okay or folders which is not required so you can use that file okay in your project also uh so now after that i will be creating i'll be creating another file which is proc file uh so let's create that touch proc uh file uh, so if I do that, so it will create the proc file. Here you have to write. Uh, here you have to write uh, this line of code. Okay. So what it will do? Uh, whenever you will uh, pushing uh, it to a Heroku. Okay. Uh, and you won't be running this application. Okay. Manually, it will run automatically on the cloud itself. Okay. So if you are not mentioning that. Okay. Because here you can see uh, ssh setup dot ss. Okay. So this that file we haven't created yet, but we will be creating. After that, see this is the same command uh, we we are using whenever we are running this application. Okay, extremely run app dot pi. Okay, so it will automatically like uh, find that command and it will uh, you can say execute uh, your projects on the cloud itself. Okay, here that's why uh, we are using some of the commands. So this is the proc file you have to write and you have to also create this setup dot hhs. Okay, so for that I'll be writing touch mm, setup dot ssh so here i'll be writing some of the commands okay so which uh, which is like by default if you go to the streamlit you can say website uh, uh streamlit documentation so you'll be seeing uh this kind of streamlit uh you can say application how we can deploy it to the you can say heroku so there you will be find this setup the ssh file okay so all the command would be written here so you can directly copy paste here otherwise you can refer my code so these are some commands okay uh you needed for deploying this application to the heroku so yes i think i'm done with uh, now what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna open my heroku so let's open my heroku so i'll write just heroku uh okay heroku if i go to my dashboard here you have to provide your uh, email and your password so if you don't have you can uh, create the account but I have the account so that's why I'm logging in so almost uh, three application is running on okay uh, now here what you have to do you have to uh, you can say uh, create on this uh, new okay new button and here you just select uh, create new app so if you are selecting that so you have to mention your uh, app name let's define it book uh, recommendation Nation, let's uh, call it 45 because you have to give a unique name uh, then if you click on this create app so see uh, now what you have to do uh, all the commands is written here okay so you have to just copy paste so let me copy paste uh, that one and if i open my terminal and if i paste it but here i will be uh, you can see logging with my different email so that's why i'll be using this i so now if i hit enter so it will ask for my email
so it is asking my email so this is the email I am using so I'll just paste it over here and here I have to mention the password now if I hit enter so it will get logged in okay so it is uh, logged in uh, as this uh, email now what I have to do I will just uh, you can say initialize my git here so it will initialize the git so if you don't have git okay so you can install git from the google so there are lots of tutorials so you can refer and you have to also install the heriku okay uh, in this uh, you can say terminal so you can also do that okay uh, here i'm not showing that uh, now what you have to do uh, you have to just run that command let me clear my terminal now let's paste it it will uh you can say do the you can say connecting uh, with my you can say this uh, cloud link uh, now it has been connected now i have to initialize this git at After adding, I have to make the commit. All the files has been committed now. At the end, I have to push it to the Heroku. So this is the command for that. Git push Heroku master. If I hit enter, so you'll be seeing. Uh, yeah, it is uh, compressing and it is uh, copying from here. And you can say. Uh, it is uh, just transferring your da uh, this data okay to the cloud itself okay so i'll be waiting until it get finished now you can see it has copied all the information now it is making the setup okay so it is uh, you can set up in the requirement or txt uh, there also uh, so yes all the steps like we have done manually it is like uh, doing automatically here okay so that's why we use cloud uh, so that's why like we don't have to monitor it you can see manually so let's wait so guys uh, if your setup is successfully done so you will be seeing there is a link okay it will give you so you just copy the link and uh, if you come here and uh, create a new tab okay so let me copy it again Control c and if you paste it here and if you hit enter so you will be seeing your application will be running on okay uh, on live uh, so see so see uh, this is your application uh, now it is running on on live okay now you can share this link with anyone so they can use your application okay on the cloud itself uh, now you can share this application with anyone okay so i think uh, you have liked that project okay and uh, now i think you got to know how you can uh, you can say create any kinds of recommendation system based on this uh, collaborative filterings uh, so yes guys uh, this was all about from me and from my site okay so i think you have liked it so thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.